How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. Good age. Why? Don't know. Hello, stranger. You look well rested. Yeah, it's like the whole weekend. Anyway, I should probably just get going. Someone's in a hurry. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! Derek's in a good mood. Right, Derek, yeah, the office clown. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him that. He'll have you fired. Right, <laughs> yeah. I'm completely not with it this morning. I should probably get going. Hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Brilliant, thank you. Saw lots of old temples and the like. Really enlightening. In Benidorm. Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Uh, bye. So, what do I do when I get there? It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. That's no good to stuff like that. Molly's right. I don't think anyone would follow me into battle. It's simple, trust me. Joan is working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapton's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. And Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. The Meyer is midway through implementing rubble support. You may as well be speaking German. Your game sounds bad, Jack. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. It'll make you cry. Jonah Cakes, Letitia's Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Maya Rumble. See? You're a natural. Uh, hello. Um, good weekends, everyone? Get up to anything interesting? No. Okay, um, let's see. So I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. You are modeling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. You're going to be doing cream cakes. By the way, feel free to step in if I get anything wrong. No? All right, then. Okay, Tobias. I believe you're making cream cakes. Actually, I'm not sure that's right. And finally, Maya. Are you making cream cakes? Sorry, I'm not sure that's quite right. Look, even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. You all know what you're up to, even if I don't. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. 
keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Cheers. Come on, baby. Don't tell me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, yo. This is ridiculous. What the hell? Headshot! Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Okay. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Oh, yeah. Very poignant. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit, and then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite bit, too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven-day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Hang on. There's no way I'm working weekends for a silly computer game. Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but... I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. I'll set an example, all right? Bloody cheek. Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Passion! I'll show you what you can do with your passion! <laughs> 